John Doolittle from Katsu Global, and I'm here with uh, Jamal and Holly Awad. They're in Temecula, California. Uh, Jamal's a uh, uh, United States Marine Corps Devil Dog veteran. Wow. <laughs> got out in 2006, so we uh, we had some commonalities there. I'm a Navy guy, and uh, and. Holly, really interesting um, three-day eventing. It's an equestrian event, and Holly's an Olympian, and we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. But thanks, uh, thanks a lot, both of you, for for agreeing to uh, to jump on with us and talk talk about your experiences with with Katsu a little bit. Um, so why don't, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves a little better than I just did, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Jamal Awad. I'm from Washington, D.C. originally and uh, got stationed out here in 2003 and met Holly on my, after my second tour, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, a couple weeks after I got back, I met her. Um, and yeah, we've been together pretty much ever since then. So. Yeah, and um, I'm originally from Vancouver, Canada, and um, Ooh, I, I can keep there. horses. I know it's beautiful, yeah. but the winters suck. <laughs> so yeah. um, once I, <laughs> I, once I, I like yeah, once I realized that uh, you could be warm in the winter time, I was hooked and ended up uh, staying in Southern California and um, started a business and got married. And um, here we are, 15 years later. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I know, um, I know we're going to go into Katsu just a little bit, but Holly, yeah. can, can, can you give us a little bit of background on the three day eventing? Is it, is it true that that's how people used to be tested to, uh, determine if they could go into the Calvary back in the yeah. day? Yeah, absolutely. What, what's it about? How um, so the first day is like nowadays it's, um, it's judged, it's kind of like doing figures in like a skating test. I, we have a certain dressage test that we have to be, um, judged upon and that's our starting score. And then we don't want to basically add any points to that. So, and then the second day is like an endurance day. It's, uh, over three miles jumping over 45 fences, um, for the horse. It's quite a true test of your horse and rider. And then the third day is called show jumping. So that's what you can most people have seen um, mm -hmm. is where the jumps mm -hmm. are in a ring and it's just testing the um, endurance of the horse that they can still be rideable and, you know, keep all the sticks up basically. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, if you have a rail, you get penalized if, on cross country of a stop, you get penalized. So it's, um, it's a true test. It's kind of like um, a triathlon for horses, but yeah, um, yeah. you know, it's, a, it's hard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Talk and it's about a team Katsu effort. on horses. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, if we could do that to help yeah. prevent injuries and like recover from injuries. Like I've been hurt a few times. I've had some bad falls and, um, the cuts has actually really helped me recover from them. And, um, it may have something to do with the specialist too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamal, are you the specialist? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's um, a great, uh, kind of lead in how, how did you, uh, how did you guys first learn about Katsu? I mean, how, how did you kind of get there? By accident. <laughs> yeah, it was totally by accident. Uh, before uh, we were going up to her clinic, like probably about three day uh, heads up about, you know, her wanting to work for me to work out with uh, Dr. Stray Gunderson and Holly. So Stray I was Gunderson. supposed to go teach a clinic in Utah and the lady that organized the clinic is really good friends um, with the doctors and trainers at the U.S. Olympic ski center in salt lake and um she knows jamal loves working out and gadgets basically and uh so yeah. she invited him up and um you know typical both of us a little bit skeptical like i don't like promoting or talking about things unless i truly believe in them and um jamal and i got hooked on it um so that's where he met um holly and her husband yeah and before that, like I said, like we got a little bit of a heads up, so I had time to, you know, do a little bit of research. I found an article in Military Times, and that's what really, mm -hmm. you know, picked my interest. Um, and then uh, also went on to the, uh, you know, Katsu Global website and looked at all the studies that were there, anything that I could find that would give me some, you know, idea what I was getting into. But uh, I was 60-40, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, okay, 
this seems like it would right. work, but uh, is it snake oil? And, you know, <laughs> again, went in there with an open mind and asked a lot of questions. And uh, they were very thorough. It was uh, an intense workout. Like, I, I didn't know that, you know, I could feel that way after just lifting five pound weights. When I heard about it, it's like five pound weights. You know, I'm in there in the gym pressing, you know, you know, a lot of weights. And, you know, this just didn't seem like it would give me the same, if not right. the results. Right, right. Quite surprised, you know. <laughs> so. Well, especially in the military, it's kind of yeah. a, a, a type alpha mm -hmm. demographic where it's just like go, go, 100% yeah. all the time. All the time. Yeah. It's always push weight, push weight, push weight. If you tear stuff, tearing down muscle fibers, that's okay. Give, you yeah. know, go hard on legs, have a couple yeah. days rest. Go hard on chest, have a couple days rest there. Go hard on back. Like, and, but everything is just hard 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 yeah. all uh the time mm -hmm. so you got your first you both got your first experience with doing something uh uh with katsu with a very light intensity or light resistance or or yeah. light weight or no weight did you do just body weight stuff uh too oh, yeah. yeah we did both and again like i said when we were doing I start with curls which is five pound weights and I've worked out in gyms with, you know, the big, you know, knuckleheaded gym rats and they see me with my five pound weights and they're, you know, over there, what the heck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> but yeah, so we yep. did, you know, calisthenics and uh, uh, like I said, the, uh, we did hand clenches too, to start out with, you know, we right. did that and then went to uh, curls, mm -hmm. uh, tricep extensions and then push ups. It was like five push ups and one and then none. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, now, were you guys dealing with rehab or any injuries at all, or was this just being exposed to this as a, a, a workout kind of new way of working out? Well, that's that's two part for me because, and also a bit for Holly because mm -hmm. she's had injuries. But uh, for me, I was already in pretty good shape. I was having back issues at the time, so that's what was m the most noticeable effect of Katsu. It didn't take me to a hundred percent capacity, but twenty, maybe thirty percent, you feel that difference. Like you have more mobility and you're able to do a bit more and carry more load because your your muscle you know muscles are you know increasing systemically not just you know the muscles that you're working right on. right getting that so, systemic uh, systemic yeah. response did yes did you uh, notice any improvements with uh, pain or chronic that. pain or infl inflammation or inflammatory response that kind of stuff yes. Yeah, the pain levels in my back went from approximately to a set from a seven to an eight to about a three or four. So okay. that was noticeable okay. enough, you know. Yeah. Um, but like I said, that was that enabled me to get past those issues, and I could do other workouts like hiking. I haven't been able to do that in a while. The other thing that I noticed is my tolerance for lactic acid. So mm -hmm. uh, going uphill. Normally, you know, that lactic acid builds up and you can't, you have to slow down or stop, you know, get your, you know, um, rest a little bit just so that can dissipate, but I can keep going. Yep. Go on, go down. Yeah. 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 Which yep. has been very interesting. So that's been the other side effect I've noticed. And the dopamine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But uh, for me, it's a two part thing. So there's that in 2015 to 2018, October of 2018, I had mm -hmm. a serious, serious fall in my front yard just doing the most trivial of things <laughs> you know but the two combat tours been shot at you yep. know mortars shot at you uh, -huh. uh but i was using a two-foot box to adjust the angle on my camera and the box collapsed swung backwards oh. and i oh. fell but it was a whipping action so my okay. legs went over like a cobra and uh my face i fractured my skull subdural hematoma uh, fractured pretty much every bone in my face. My right eye popped out, broke my neck. Jesus. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, pulled all the muscles and tendons from my shoulder to the front part of my neck. And, oh, uh, my God. Yeah, yeah. it was brutal. <laughs> and, uh, and I have pictures of this, too. I didn't do it as progressively as I could just because I was just focusing on rehab. Uh, within about a week of that accident, uh, I had to wear a neck brace, but within a week of that, I started using Katsu on you know, cycle. just doing the cycle three Good. times a day. It was insane yeah. the difference and how quickly he healed. Like yeah. the doctors couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like the uh -huh. from the swelling and the Scar contusions tissue. on his face. Yeah. Like I mean, he's 
got beautiful skin. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, but I'm glad you even, said that. I was going right? to go there. But I'm <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if we do have pictures from like the first day, like the third day, the sixth day, and it was, and then like within months after, and the healing process is nuts. Yeah. And the fact that he looks normal and can function well, and I mean, it would that I think was a huge game changer in his yeah. healing on that one. And that was the true for me, the true litmus test, because when you're already having some issues and you know, you're already pretty much in shape and mm-hmm. you use Katsu, it's hard to justify it sometimes, like you're on the fence. I was all for it, like I said, just for the dopamine effect. But when this accident happened, I was like, all right, so this is really going to be a litmus test whether or not. Wow. It's going to work. And it, it blew me away. Yeah, you know, it was amazing. It wasn't uh, easy because you can imagine, like one arm was in a sling. I had yeah. to, you know, you know, manipulate that and then put, you know, on my other arm and just like I said, just do it three times a day. I mean, sometimes I would just leave it on and, and just, just loosen it up yeah. and then just, you know, retighten it when I needed to do it again. I, so. That that that's fascinating, and we we hear all the time about these um, rapid rehabilitation uh, stories. And just in the time I've been in the company, I've learned uh, a fair amount uh, about how some of that works. We don't need to get into it now, but I I got introduced in the rehab aspect uh, of it as well. And, and I was pretty blown away with the recovery um, piece. One, one of the most fascinating pieces, I think, with this, is when, when you talk about the uh, the hormonal response that takes place in the body, one of the biomarkers that goes up significantly when you're expanding and uh, relaxing vascular tissue is nitric oxide. We talk about that a lot, but also VEGF, the vascular endothelial growth factor. When those numbers go up, that stuff's like um, it's like fertilizer for your capillary beds throughout your body. So when you have an injury that needs more oxygenation and more uh, nutrients around the injury, um, the capillary beds around that, they, and it's been shown in evidence to actually grow. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but Jamal, the, the, the dopamine piece that you just kind of glossed over it a few yeah. times, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about because <laughs> yeah. for me, that's a huge part of Katsu. But could we, um, I don't know, could we deconstruct that a little bit? What do you mean when sure. you say the, the dopamine response? Well, for, for those who have been exposed to trauma repeatedly or in a hypervigilant state for an extended period of time, yeah. It's hard to, and not because you don't want to, it's because that's your new normal. Um, so the other hormones are affected, serotonin, melatonin, um, dopamine. You, I actually got tested for that, and those levels were extremely low, and all of the uh, hormones related to anxiety were you know, pretty high. So mm-hmm. um, when, I, when I obviously used Katsu, that was one of the other hormones that was released, you know, besides human growth hormone, as you know, and uh, that really made me feel good. I mean, (laughs) I hadn't felt that in a long time. It was, it was, it was that noticeable. I mean, not just because that that's part of the Katsu effect, but it was noticeable because I wanted to feel like that more. And so when I did it every day, I had that release and it actually made that uh, it made me a, it made me better basically because even if that only lasted an hour, which it lasted more than that, that's a break. You know what I mean? Like that break. gives your mind right. a distinct pause right. to recalibrate and just enjoy it, even if it's for that period of time. So. Well, and and if you can get the dopamine response or kind of that endorphin response mm-hmm. from working out, I don't know about you, but when I was in the military. We we could get that, but only after going hard. Hard, hard. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And it took a lot of effort. Yeah, and you feel like you're able to get that doing what? Just cycles? Just, well, I if I do the cycles, I always use the um, hand grips. Some kind um, of movement. Yes, yes. So okay. when it's inflated, okay. that's when I'm doing that. So that's what I was doing the, pretty much the within the first – 
month to two months of uh, rehabbing. And then I was able to start walking after that. And actually the indicator for me, if I did the Katsu cycle or the Katsu workout properly was if I felt that dopamine effect, you know, hmm. or the endorphin effect. If I didn't, then I know I didn't do it right. And I did it again later on in the day and just adjusted my, uh, but then when you numbers. did start working out, you were only using like five pound weights. Like you didn't have to go hardcore no. and, you know, a million reps yeah. of, I will say this though, my pressure, like on my arms, is above 350. Oh, wow. SKUs and on the legs, it's over 400. Like I, you built up to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's taken this much amount of time, but I have to do that. So I have to tighten the bands a bit more in order to achieve that, you know, that uh, therapeutic level. I was going to say that's pretty, that's pretty significant. (laughs) How how long have you been doing it? Uh, Since 2015. Okay. And like I said, it's been almost daily, go. so yeah. I have yeah. to, yeah. So um, I just, I, I, you know, I wish it can go higher than that, but I think I can still achieve the same results by just changing up the workouts, yeah. you know, just to keep the body shot. Absolutely, like but, uh, absolutely. But, yeah. So that's Did I cover how... that, uh, the dopamine effect? I just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think that... And I think most people listening or watching this will, will get it. You know, people, yeah. people understand what, what that is. Yeah. Uh, is it safe to say that that's your favorite aspect of Katsu? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, I, I, it's kind of a leading question because it <laughs> yeah. definitely is yeah, no, for me. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it totally is. And there's usually a NASA involved after. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. Well, that's the you thing. Sure I keep forgetting that it's going to induce that. Like, I just sit down afterwards and I'm watching TV and then all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny you mentioned now. We had another call earlier today and we were talking about the importance of regenerative sleep you know stage three and stage four sleep and when you're talking and since we're veterans we can talk about this pretty freely right you know a lot of guys that are first responders police officers um, uh, ambulance uh, drivers hospital worker workers first line uh, medical care workers especially now um, people that get stuck in that hypervigilance state they get stuck you you have that parasympathetic aspect of life and then you have your fight or flight or your that's systemic uh not systemic parasympathetic and sympathetic right i'm bouncing around (laughs) but it's it's so easy when you're exposed to traumatic stress to get stuck over here and the first thing that happens is you start to lose stage four and stage three um, restorative sleep, which is so important to everything, you know, especially when we're talking about immune response and things like that. So to hear that you sleep so much, uh, uh, so easily after Katsu, that's actually a very normal thing. There's a, uh, there's an actual insomnia, protocol that uh, Dr. Sato and Dr. Nakajima came up with. Within an hour of going to sleep, you do the katsu cycles and you do very, very light stretching and very light, easy neck and shoulder movements while you do the cycles. So while the vascular tissue is expanding and relaxing, expanding and relaxing, you just integrate some very, very light not not stressful but very light movement and it just helps it, it worked for me uh immediately the first time steven showed it to me i was i was blown away um but anyway we, we could talk about that all day but um yeah. holly what's your favorite uh what's your favorite aspect of of katsu from your perspective i like working out but i don't like lifting a ton of heavy weight and all that and um mm-hmm. I'm athletic, but I, I don't want to be a big bodybuilder. So I like the way it makes me look like I'm strong, but I'm lean, you know, and um, those results for me, I think have, have made quite a big difference. And honestly, I like variety. Like, um, so it just gives me another way to, to work out. And like I said, I've had a couple injuries. Like if I fall off, I'm usually going to go to the hospital. Like it takes a lot for me mm-hmm. to fall off my horse. So um 
it's helped me and like same thing i've broke my neck i, I broke my back i broke my pelvis twice like my it's, god uh, both you guys i know necks, i know, backs, I know. Oh, we're a little crazy <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting older we don't bounce as good as we used to <laughs> so um you know it's wow. uh and i like that i travel a lot so it's packable like it's something you can bring mm -hmm. with you it's easy to travel with it's light it's easy to set up um and it's a quick easy workout with results that happen Plus it, main, it maintains your gain so yeah. if you're a gym rat or if that's what you normally do and how to augment that you know um typically when she's you know competing she doesn't have time to do like an extended workout two hours you know? at the gym it never yeah. happened like i don't i'm busy i don't have that time yeah, 15 <laughs> so. 20 minutes with katsu you are feeling great and it's like i said yeah your strength came. So. yeah we we say all the time if you're looking for an effective and efficient way to yeah. get some exercise in definitely now okay so this my wife and i do this all the time and i gotta ask you guys do, <laughs> do you guys experiment no i'm not i'm not going anywhere i'm just going <laughs> around the house when you're doing um i'll just call them a uh, day-to-day -day chores do you guys ever use katsu cycles when you're i don't know doing dishes or working in the kitchen or doing clothes. things around the house he does <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. i love doing it and it, it, you don't think that it would wear you out just like folding towels i am yes. exhausted after that. <laughs> yes I think that i'm like really up to doing yeah. the housework so yeah, yeah i have a tendency to put those on and go through the cycle when i am doing some sort of you know uh, chore like that. I actually yeah. like that. I mean, and I like doing chores, but I love doing katsu with that. Mm -hmm. That's just I'm the, I'm the exact that, same way. Yeah. I'm leading the witness because my wife yeah. and I are the same way. Man. Laundry, yeah. Uh, yeah. cleaning up after dinner, walking yeah. the dogs. Yep. Katsu yeah. Cycles, yeah, the yeah. yeah, we did that. We have a little Jack Russell and we walk every night and um, usually just throw the arms on yeah. and cruise. Awesome. <laughs> We're probably going to do the legs tonight. Yeah. We get competitive though. You yeah. Know? So we start seeing who can last the longest, you know, <laughs> or you got to take that off. Well, hey guys, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to use up too much of your time. And we usually try to keep these, you know, around somewhere in that 20, 30 minute realm. Is, is there anything you want to, uh, is there anything you want to touch on as we, uh, as we wrap it up? Is there anything we missed? I just want to make sure that, you know, obviously this is going to go out to everyone, but, you know, to the specialists and the people that are familiar with it, you know, they're obviously going to look at this and nod their head in approval, but for the people that are on the fence about it, you really at least need to give this a try. You know, there's on the Katsu website, they have uh, a link for the specialists that are in your particular area. So you can probably link up with them and give it a try or two. You know, it's, it's not something you're going to see within that first day. You have to give it a, a couple tries. So I would say that would be something that you should at least look into doing because it, it is life changing. And again, I take this with me everywhere I go and I, I will not leave home without this when I go traveling. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Holly, how about you? You got anything you want to close up with? Well, I'm in the position I'm in, like I'm pretty humble and quiet about what I do, but like, I have a ton of people always coming at me about sponsorship and, you know, oh, use this, wear this. And I don't like to just take stuff to take stuff. And I only promote stuff that works for me or that I truly believe in. And um, I, I was honestly a little skeptical. Like when, when we first, I was like, what's this, you know, but the results speak for themselves. And, um, you know, we're a big believer in it. And that's why we, you know, every now and then you'll see us on Instagram promoting it. And um, I'm a, I'm a big believer in it. Like if it works for me and gets me results, I'm going to talk about it and promote it. And it, it has for me. Awesome. Well, um, really appreciate your time. Uh, Holly, uh, later on offline, I'll push you some stuff that Katsu has been used in the equestrian Oh, well, I know. Actually, yeah. for, yeah, for I some know. research. So uh, yeah. really cool yeah. stuff that's, uh, that's out there. But thank you yeah. so much for your time. And uh, you. have, have a great day. Thank you.